Hi, my name is Stephen Prout, and today I'm going to show you a configuration for a Siemens Tia Portal PLC, and that's going to be connected via Profinet to a uh, FP33 node with a MPAL pneumatic interface on it. All right, so today we're going to use a uh, Siemens PLC and we're going to connect to a Festo FB33 or CPX-FB33. It's a Profinet node from Festo. And uh, on that particular CPX terminal, we've got a multi-IO module and an MPAL um, pneumatic interface, which has valves. You know, so there's an interface and then there's valves to the right of it. Basically, it looks like this here. So this is the interface and these are the valves. Um, the FB33 has uh, been assigned an IP address, although I'll probably not use it. Um, the other ones are self-explanatory here. The, the pneumatic interface at rotary dill switch or dip switch is configured at uh, an 8, which represents 32 outputs. So this is what we want to connect to right here, and we're going to use a Tia Portal project to do that. So I have uh, this project here, which has my base hardware for my PLC. So I'm just going to do a save as. Um, okay, so I'm not going to use any code today. We're just going to show toggling the bits off and on here. So most of this setup and configuration is done in the device network. So open this up, we have our, our PLC and we have our Profinet uh, network. Okay, so the first important thing is to get the latest GSD files. Where do we get that? We have to get them at our FESTA website. Or at a FESTA website. Uh, products, no, support downloads is where we go for that. We type in cpx fb 33 software, and here are our the important thing here is that version 2.31 is, in fact, the only. GSD file that works with the TIA portal. Okay, once you once you download that, so we get to the point where we have our zip file that we just downloaded. Take these files, unzip them, and we will install the files. Just follow this procedure here. Go through and install them. Basically, select the folder. Okay. So, again, 2.31 is the version that you need with the TIA portal. Uh, basically, click on this and say install. I'm not going to do that because I've already got it installed. You just follow the rest of the directions. And then uh, the first thing we do here is we tunnel down into other field bus nodes. So at this point, you have the GSD files installed. And now we want to add a CPX. Come over here to our hardware catalog, and we drag and drop a CPX onto this network here and we assign 
the PLC to that node or to that terminal. And then we double click, go into there, and now we're going to add modules to that um, to the CPX manifold. And this over here is important because based on the dip switches that you have on your on your module, uh, that decides what you actually choose. I have no status and no um, SDI selected, so I just have a basic module here. So I'm going to drag that in over here. We'll go to the digital modules. I have this particular one right here, as we showed previously. And then we go down to the pneumatic interface, and we find the, uh, the MPA DIL, which is 32 di digital output. We drag and drop that. So that right now matches so 33, multi-IO, and then MPAL terminal. Same thing right here. On the interface, we need to uh, set up an IP address. In this particular case, um, I can set one, but I don't necessarily want to use it. Um, I just say IP address is set directly at the device. And this right here will be the name of the module itself. So at this point, we're using the name to connect to it, and nothing else is required. OK, so the IP address has been set for the node. And next thing is to do a uh, compile. So I mean, I mean, I, uh, I added a watch table here. We've got addresses three through six for the outputs. So I've added a, a watch table so that I could force the values off and on. And we do a compile. Everything's good. We do a download. Go online. So we're all on here, we have all green. Everything is good. Go to the watch table. Outputs are on and the valves have fired. And that's as simple as it gets. Project is finished.